Hello, good morning, welcome to a new video for our math at home this weekend blog. Uh, we are going to go on with the unit 3 into your numbers and in this lesson we are going to study how to add, how to subtract into your numbers. Okay, first we are going to try to un uh, understand how we do these operations and how these uh, four operations have to be understood. The way to understand it is by um, operating or moving on the number line. So, for example, plus 7 plus 5, every time we have a positive number, plus 7, we interpret this as moving to the right, to the positive side of the number line, 7 steps or 5 steps. So, if we want to do this, we have to say, okay, this is... This operation is seven steps on the number line to the seven to the right and later five steps. And then you get to the plus 12, of course. So the solution is plus 12. What about this operation? Now it is negative four steps to the left because it's negative to the left and three to the left. So we move four steps to the left and then three steps to the left. So the result is that we have moved seven steps to the left. So the result is negative seven. This one, minus five to the left, minus five steps to the left, and now nine to the right, because it's positive nine. Then one, two, three, four, five, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And we get to the positive four. Okay, then the result of this operation is positive four. What about the last one, the yellow one? This. We have to move. Let's clean one moment. The, this again, let's clean it. Draw the line again. Sorry. We are drawing the line again. This is the zero, right? And then we have to move one step to the right and seven steps. One, two, three, four, five, and seven to the left, which is the minus, uh, sorry, the, in this case, the minus six. The result is minus 6, of course, because it was 1 and then 7 more. So the result is negative 6. Okay, this is a way to understand these operations. Another way is by saying, okay, you have negative 3 plus 7 when they have different signs. The sign of the operation is the sign of the greatest absolute value, in this case, 7. Then we have to calculate the difference, and the solution is positive 4. Okay, because we have done the difference between the two numbers since they have different signs. Let's see this again. Here, again, they have different signs, negative and positive, and the one that has a greater 
absolute value is the minus 9. Then the, the sign is going to be negative. And what is the solution? The difference which is 5. With this, we do difference again because both have different sign. And the sign of the solution is going to have the sign of the greater absolute value, in this case, 13. So, it's going to be negative. And when you do the difference, you get that is 4. And what happens when the two absolute values are equal? Minus 5 plus 8. When the two absolute values are equal and they are opposite numbers, the solution of this operation is always for sure zero. When the two numbers have the same sign, what we do is to add it and put the sign of the same sign of the two atoms. And when they are both negative, the final sign is negative 2 and the addition of the absolute values. Good, hope you have learned it. Now stop the video and try to do yourself these operations. Now do it and I'm going to correct it now. So minus this one, minus 11 plus 3, the solution is negative, okay, 8. 3 minus 11 is the same that 11, minus 11 plus 3, okay, is the same solution, is the same operation. These operations are the same with different order, plus 3 minus 11, minus 11 plus 3 is the same. In this case, both have the same sign and is negative 11. With this, the solution is negative 2. In this case, the solution is positive 1. This one is minus 4, and this last is positive 2. I think it was Easy, not difficult to understand, revise, do a lot of exercises and see you in new videos.